light pollution has become so pervasive across the United States that 80% of Americans can no longer see the Milky Way at night. For those who are not into stargazing, that may seem like no big deal. But for migratory birds, the bright lights can prove lethal. The National Audubon Society, an NGO dedicated to bird conservation, says up to a billion birds die every year due to collisions with man-made structures. As Tony Wasman explains from Texas, a simple flip of the switch could help keep them alive. A lot of the birds that we see... It's daybreak in Austin, Texas. And as the sun begins to peek through the buildings, a small group of bird enthusiasts gathers. They haven't come to bird watch, but rather to search for birds that have died in the middle of the night. So one of the buildings is over here. Victims of mid-air building collisions. It's not glamorous work because you're getting up very early and you are looking for dead birds, but it's important work. The data gathered gives researchers important insight into how light pollution is impacting bird migration. Texas's sky is an avian superhighway funneling billions of birds south in the winter and then north again in the summer. But rapid urbanization is throwing them off course. Tall, brightly lit skyscrapers luring them to danger. Birds use the moon and the stars to navigate. And so when there is a lot of light pollution at night, that can be really confusing for birds. They might get disoriented. And once they're in the city, they are subject to all sorts of urban threats, um, especially window collisions, building collisions. Glass buildings are particularly lethal. Birds can't distinguish whether the trees and sky they're seeing is reality or just a reflection. Last October, more than a thousand birds died in a single night after crashing into McCormick Place in Chicago. Experts believe as many as a billion birds die from building collisions every year removing an important link in the ecosystem. Birds are so important to our habitat. Uh, they eat uh, insects, they are pest controllers. Um, they're a good marker of a healthy habitat all around. And so we wanna have clean water, clean air. And so birds can help us monitor if our environment is healthy. Birds also play an important role in fighting the effects of climate change. They disperse seeds, spreading plants to new areas. They provide nutrients to marshes that serve as a buffer from storm damage. Some even help pollinate plants and reduce the spread of disease. But since 1970, the North American bird population has been in steep decline. And there's real concern about the broader knock-on effects. You're looking at the ecosystem regeneration, right? Because if that seed um, dispersal doesn't happen, then, then you might see the, the plants die where they are. If you're talking about the plants and trees, it's not cleaning the air in the same way. It's increasing the temperature because they're not capturing carbon, um, which is increasing the, the temperature of the ocean. So it, it goes and it goes and it goes, and it has a massive impact on, on climate change. In a bid to reduce the mortality rates, cities across the United States have joined the Lights Out campaign, an initiative encouraging building owners and residents to shut off their lights between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m., prime migration time for birds. Research has shown a simple flip of the switch can reduce collisions by up to 60 percent. Adding decals to windows to make them less reflective or simply shutting the shades can also help. With less light pollution from cities, birds are less likely to fly into urban areas like Austin. I don't see anything over here. Finding nothing the kind of success this team is ultimately searching for. Tony Waterman, CNA, Austin, Texas.